Welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm going to bring this quick video of <clears throat> what I hate the most, but have learned, and you know, a lot of people are going to say, man, this video is dumb, but you guys have, uh, you know, cut firewood and know how to do it. But uh, what I wanted to get at in this video is when you buy a chain out of the nut pack and it's like that I know we all got chains like that you know some people you know may, may not know how or may not know what to do uh, they may just think chains ruined or go pull it so tight they may mess up a link or whatever but <clears throat> it's not too hard uh, just takes a little bit of patience, and which I know a lot of people were short of patience anymore. But really, I mean, that's all it takes is a little bit of patience, and usually you can, you know, get it untangled. With that being said, uh, I'm just going to show you real quick how I untangle them. And I ain't saying it's the best way or the right way or whatever, but it kind of works for me. But anyhow, you kind of just start picking this chain apart, and you can see how it's all wrapped around there and all that good stuff, which that ain't bad. Like I said, nobody's pulled on this chain yet and made it real tight, but you kind of just keep working it until you find a spot where hey it's coming loose but all right so you got that loop all right after that loop you're always going to run in to your two loops like this which ain't nothing to be scared about very easy like i said i know a lot of people are going to say oh this is this is a stupid video, you know. You'd be surprised if people don't know how to get these out and bring to a shop and need help. Uh, like I said, some people may just, they, they don't have a 462 or 311 or uh, 468 or whatever it is, or a Husqvarna 454. Or, you know, they, they're not cutting. They may just be average, average homeowner that, hey, a uh, storm came through. I got a couple limbs down. I want to do it myself. And, you know, they doll their chain. They may take it to the shop, get it sharpened. Oh, hey. It comes back all tangled up. So, anyhow, <clears throat> when you get it to this point here, it's very, very easy to say, man, how am I going to get this out of here? Well, like I said, everybody's been there. Everybody's had it happen. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to grab those two loops. And when you grab those two loops, you see how your chains on this side, chains on that side. You're just going to flop that thing that no, didn't work. But you're going to try to get it like this. You know, looped out. You're just going to do it like this. Just flip it back up on itself. And guess what? Your chain's back to the way it was. Uh, like I said, you know, a lot of people don't know how to do that. Uh, and which just ain't a brand new chain. I just used one of my chains, for example. Uh, which... See, I have a yeah, there it broke free, but yeah, very simple. And you know what I recommend is, which I just hang them with my bar. There's a 20 inch bar, and I just hang them there and hang them up. But yeah, I mean, very simple. And I know we all we've all had. Uh, issues like that and you know some i've had chains this took a while to get untangled up 
The three eighth chains ain't that bad, but the uh, the three twenty fives they're because they're a little bit skinnier, they can get wrapped up more. But yeah, uh, everything. Just give you a little rundown of what all's going on. Uh, we got a good bit of locust firewood in. I would say I'm on my last tree of the year. Uh, we'll probably get to uh, probably end of this week right now. Uh, and after I get that done, I'll help uh, the neighbor cut some firewood. He has an outdoor wood burner, so he uses a lot more than I do. Uh, if something does go on, I, I end up getting a wood burner for the pole barn, which I, I doubt I will. I mean, we still got the $179 heater, which I'll uh, post a link up above there to show you that video uh, and what we paid for that heater. But uh, yeah, so like I said, so far, uh, the 462 has been doing great. Uh, I did actually uh, buy something. Uh, well, I got the bar for it today, which uh, that video will be up there too, or in one of these tags above this video. But I uh, put the 32 inch bar on it, and done wonderful. Uh, you'll see it cut through some. Uh, pretty big cherry log. I didn't measure the diameter of it, but I'll say it's probably at least two and a half, three foot. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, like I said, I did actually buy one more thing, which a video will be coming out on it soon, of uh, a sharpener that we purchased and picked up. Uh, I've always had, uh, the neighbor actually has a, electric sharpener uh where you just you know set your angle and mm -hmm. <clears throat> just uh right through there in about two minutes you're done but i wanted to give this steel sharpener a shot and and uh i've never i've never ever used the file much uh i never you know a lot of guys on here it takes some years but to get the uh, angles and pressure and pitch and all that good stuff right. But like I said, that'll be in some future videos. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe below. Really helps out the channel. Uh, we are picking up a few subscribers. So that's wonderful. Uh, if... Uh, YouTube would get off my back and finally get this bit uh, my channel reviewed, but that seems like a uh, shot in the dark. So, but yeah, guys. Well, this will be it for this video. We will try and get this the sharpener video uploaded here soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. But all right, man. You guys take it easy. If you got any comments, questions, put them below. Thanks.